Stalling can be a common occurrence when learning to drive a car with a manual gearbox. Sometimes a stall can be embarrassing and sometimes it can lead to danger, so it's best avoided. In this video, we will look at the three most common situations for stalling, when pulling away, when driving and when stopping. We will stall our car in each situation, explain why it happened and then show you how to prevent your car stalling. The most common time to stall a car is when pulling away. The first reason we could stall when pulling away is if we lift the clutch pedal too quickly and use too much clutch bite. If we do this the car will jump forward and the engine will stall, instead of the car moving gently forwards. Let's watch and listen. To stop this happening, we should use the accelerator pedal to slightly increase the engine power, lift the clutch pedal very slowly until we feel the clutch just starting to drive the car forward and then keep our feet still as the car starts to roll. We'll watch once more in slow motion. The extra engine power is important and once we have found the biting point of the clutch, we keep our feet still for a couple of seconds until the car reaches walking pace before lifting the clutch pedal up to engage the clutch fully. The important thing to remember is that the engine will never stall if the clutch is held at the biting point, but it will stall if the clutch pedal is lifted too high and the car's clutch is engaged too early. For a more detailed look at clutch control, watch our other videos on the subject. Another way to stall is by selecting the wrong gear. After pulling away in first gear, we would normally select second gear, but watch what happens if we select fourth by mistake. Once we lift the clutch up, the engine judders and stalls. The engine has stalled because selecting fourth gear has forced the engine to run far slower than normal. Let's try that gear change again. To avoid selecting the wrong gear and having these problems, we need to take a look at our gear change technique. If we use the correct hand position and take plenty of time for the gear change, this will allow us to feel which gear we are selecting and prevent any mistakes. Our video called How to Change Gear has more details if needed. It is also possible to stall a car when driving if we use too high a gear for the speed we are driving at. This could happen if we accidentally select the wrong gear or forget to change down to a lower gear as we slow the car for a junction or tight corner. The next reason the car might stall is if it is in the wrong gear. This can sometimes happen when stopping at junctions. If we are distracted by something else we could select third gear by mistake or forget to select first gear altogether. Trying to pull away in second or third gear is not impossible but it is much harder to do, especially if we assume we are in first. We should take the time to ensure we are in first gear and ready to go before pulling away. Taking the time to use good hand position when selecting gears will greatly reduce the chance of a mistake, so we should take as long as we need to get ready before pulling away. Another situation where we might stall when driving is when slowing down for a junction or very tight corner. Here we are driving in third gear and watch what happens as we brake the car for this junction. It forces the engine to turn too slowly and it eventually stalls. Let's try that again, but this time we choose second gear as we slow the car 
so that the engine can keep turning at a suitable speed as we drive around the corner. So as we change our car speed, we must select a gear that will keep the engine spinning at a normal speed. In this car, we usually select second gear for junctions, as it gives good control as we approach the corner and good acceleration afterwards. The third situation that commonly causes a stall is when we forget to push the clutch pedal down when stopping the car. We're driving in second gear, so let's see what happens if we break the car to a halt without pushing the clutch pedal down. As the car slows, the engine revs reduce before stalling altogether. Of course, all we need to do next time we stop the car is push the clutch down a few car lengths before we stop, as this disconnects the engine from the wheels and allows it to keep running. If we forget and feel the engine starting to judder a little, this is our warning to push the clutch down quickly before the engine stalls. So remember to, when pulling away, stay at the biting point until walking pace. Select gears carefully. Change down when the car slows down. And push the clutch down just before stopping. If you found this video interesting then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified of our next video. If you would like to help support this channel then please click the Patreon link to find out about our crowdfunding campaign. Thanks for watching.